true or false, y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1 fifth is the same line as y equals 2 over negative 3x plus 0 0.2. This negative sign moves from the numerator to the denominator. There's no difference. And 1 fifth, the fraction, is the same as the decimal number 0 0.2. So it is true. Let's practice sketching lines. We have the slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3, which means begin by the y-intercept, move down 3 units here, and we draw a point. And the slope, which is 2 over 1, means we go up 2, the rise is 2, and the run is 1 to the right, and we draw another dot. And so here's our line like this. Let's try another graph here for B. We have the slope 2 over negative 3 and the y-intercept of 1. So 1, we start up here with a dot. And this is rise is 2. It's up 2. And the run is negative 3, which means a left 3 units. And we draw another dot. And then we connect these two points. So the line extends forever and ever. As for c, we have y is equals to negative 3x plus 1. We just arrange the terms left and right. We begin with the y-intercept of 1, which is here. And the slope is negative 3 over 1, which means down 3 and 1 to the right. So it's a steep descending line. As for part b, we have the equation y is equal to negative 1x plus 0. Same thing, there's a hidden negative 1 slope here. And the y-intercept is 0. So we start at the origin at 0. And the slope is negative 1 over 1, which means down 1, 1 to the right. And we draw our second point. And as you can see, this line cuts to the origin and is at a 45 degree angle an angle of depression of 45 degrees. And finally, we have a straight line, x equals negative 1. So if we have an origin in the middle, we move left one unit. So the line extends forever and ever vertically. y equals negative 1 would run horizontally, but x equals negative 1 has an undefined slope. Now let's look at these graphs and try to identify the equation. For this part A graph, notice the y-intercept here is 4. And the slope, we're going down 2 units and right 1 unit. So we see that the slope is negative 2. The rise is negative 2 and the run is 1. So we have y is equals to mx plus b. We see it right away. The slope is negative 2 or negative 2 over 1 x and the y-intercept is right there is plus 4. Let's look at part b. Notice how the y-intercept has numbers 2 something 4 something 6. So in between 2 and 4 we have a y-intercept of 3 or the entire point would be 0 comma 3. And we have another point here. The slope is rise over run which is y2 minus y1, 5 minus 3, over x2 minus x1, which is 4 minus 0. So the slope is 2 over 4, which is 1 half, a slight positive increasing slope. We have a point. We can use either one. We'll just use 4 comma 5. And now we use slope point form. So slope point form is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 and we substitute any point either 0 comma 3 or 4 comma 5 let's just substitute 5 here and we'll substitute 4 here so y minus 5 is equals to the slope which is 1 half x minus 4 let's use distribution here so y is equals to 1 half x negative 4 times a half is negative 2 and this negative 5 when you throw it over becomes a positive 5 so 5 minus 2 is positive 3 
So we say the equation is y equals 1 half x plus 3 is correct. Let's try this again, substituting in the other point to 0 comma 3. So y minus y1, which would be 3, is equal to m, the slope is 1 half, x minus x1, which would be 0. So anything minus 0 doesn't even count, so we're just going to multiply this. y is equal to 1 half x. The minus 3, when you throw it over, becomes positive 3. And as you can see, we have the same answer over here. Let's try one more for part C. We have an interesting decimal number, 1.6 repeater. So 1.6 repeater is basically 1 plus 2 thirds, or 1 and 2 thirds. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, so we have 5 over 3 is the improper fraction. So the first coordinate is negative 2, comma, 5 thirds. And this one here, the second point, is 2, comma, negative 1 third. And we want to find the slope. The slope is rise over run. And why don't we try going top minus bottom? So we'll say 5 over 3 minus the second y value, and two negatives become a positive. So we went this minus this, and now it's this minus this. So we have negative 2 minus 2. So what do we have? We have 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 over 3 is 2 all over. Negative 2, negative 2 becomes negative 4. So the slope is negative 1 half. And it's a slight decrease. Looks like it makes sense. Now let's use the slope point form. It doesn't really matter which point we use. Let's just use this point here. So we'll say y minus y1. When you subtract a negative number, it becomes plus. Is equal to the slope x minus x1, which would be minus 2. Let's work this out now. We use distribution, negative 1 half x, negative times negative is positive, 2 times a half is positive 1. And when we throw the negative, when we throw the positive 1 third over, it becomes a negative 1 third. So what we have for this number is 3 over 3 minus 1 third is positive 2 thirds. So the final answer is y is equals to 1 half x plus 2 thirds is the equation of this line in slope-intercept form.